The planet called Earth, home of the most peaceful species in the galaxy, at least known to man. I guess that's not even true. Pretty sure there's a lot of animals on Earth that's more peaceful than humans. Like capybaras! Yay, they're just so cute. They're so cute and cuddly. Anyway, so here's Earth, and here's the rest of the solar system. We got the blue moon, because everybody knows the moon's blue. We got Mars, and it's moons, I guess? Whatever this is, probably some sort of asteroid belt. I don't know much about the solar system. Here's Jupiter. Here's, uh, whatever this is, and whatever this is, and whatever this is some of the moons i suppose here's saturn with its ring neptune uh so wait which one is uranus one of these is neptune and one of these is uranus i don't know which one we got venus and mercury and what's cool about these planets is when you zoom in you could actually see that they could actually build civilizations on all of these um at least most of them i don't even know what this is what wait what i guess i'll figure that out later i don't know what that is uh otherwise these are all just different biomes and this is water oh look there's crystal dudes here aliens Proof of aliens! Um, Earth, of course, is full of humans. And if we come here, we can actually see the names of the, the nations, or regions, rather. We got Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Middle East, Brazil, Patagonia, Central America. You, you get the drill. Australia. I can't forget Australia all the way up here in the north. Everybody's favorite region, the Arctic. Beautiful. So, uh, let's see who wins, I guess. They should... They should go out and colonize, so I'm interested to see who actually makes it all the way to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. <laughs> maybe they'll build a base on the sun. Can you grow trees on the sun? Honestly, maybe? You can! Look, there's trees! Okay, so they might actually settle here. Beat that, scientists. If World Box says you can grow trees on the sun, then you know you can grow trees on the sun. So, uh, you know, feel free to root for whatever region you want. Really, you could just find the region that your country's in and you could root for it. Uh, some of them are definitely more populated than others, like South Asia's got 141, um, and the Caribbean's only got 12 kind of thing. But South Asia still might lose, even with that population difference. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna turn diplomacy on. I'm gonna keep rebellions off, so then we actually get a winner. I'm gonna turn stealing borders on. I'm gonna keep hunger and old age off because I don't want them to die. More people the merrier. I'm gonna turn on all this random nature stuff so then they could actually uh, go out and colonize. Turn on natural disasters and other disasters, of course. Because you never know when an asteroid's gonna hit Earth. And when you do know that an asteroid's gonna hit Earth, it's probably too late and you have seconds before you're vaporized. Isn't that right, Europe? <laughs> told ya. They had no idea it was coming. All right, Europe's back. Uh, let, <laughs> let's see what happens. All of their towns are really small. I don't know if that will restrict them from colonizing. I doubt it. At least we should see South Asia go, which is basically India. It would only make sense, I think. It's funny how they have boats, because it's not like they're gonna boat anywhere. A boat can't fly through space, believe it or not. Diplomacy's on, too, so we'll see if any of them go to war. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the borders on. It's pretty much a mess. They're all so entangled inside of each other. It's kind of crazy. It doesn't even make sense that South Asia has that many people. They're probably one of the smallest territories. Eastern Europe's only three tiles. Oh, balls, Europe! Oh, uh, frick! Uh, uh. Oh, okay, random earthquake that didn't affect anything. Epic. New village has been founded. Oh, snap! Who, who, who's doing this? Here, let's do the kingdom layer. Uh, wait, frick, that doesn't help me at all. The United States just landed on the moon. How accurate is that? Wait, that's really fun. <laughs> what? Oh, I guess the kingdom, the kingdom view uh, shows different countries. Oh, that's actually so funny that the United States just snagged the moon. What is this man doing to the ground? What are you doing? I think he's making it like farm. Oh, he's building a road. I'm dumb. Okay, so we know they can get here. Uh, I just wonder how long it will take them to actually go down these paths all the way up to Mars. Or maybe they'll colonize Venus first. Pull an Elon, go to Mars or go to war. Either way is entertaining. Just because the United States has the moon, it's already twice the size of any country on Earth. How did they get to the moon? They would have had a boat over, right? Speeding up time, nothing's happening. They were so quick to colonize the moon. Come on, guys, colonize the other planets. Don't be shy. All right, well, we're gonna take somebody from South Africa, because that's where Elon's from. Yo, you are now Elon. We're just gonna take him without his permission, and we're gonna put him on Mars, because that's Elon's dream. Welcome to another planet, sir. Will you behave? Um, maybe... Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Without me interfering, there's actually people coming up. <gasps> oh, wait, they're doing it. Go, go, go! There goes Elon! <laughs> Bye, Elon, he's going home. <laughs> Wait, who is this? Is this the United States? Oh my glove, what? The, <laughs> the land of the free. <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, I guess that makes sense. Elon is in the United States, at least currently. Oh, the United States has declared war on Mexico. Oh my glove, no! Dude! That was not me. That was random, randomly generated meteor. South Asia is gone. Gosh dang, bro. Chill. So all the other countries around it are going to um, scoop up that land. And the United States will probably end up killing Mexico just because they are that much bigger. Oh, they just took over. Wait, what? United States declared war. The United States is taking over. Oh my glove. There goes Mexico. They're, they're at war with Intermarium. I don't even know what that is. Mexico was destroyed. 
Dude, somebody's got a rival in the United States. They can't just... They're on Venus too! What the frick? Oh, boss! Somebody's got a rival. Come on, China! Russia? Russia's gone. Russia's been taken over, so is the uh, Intermirium. India was destroyed. That's a rip. This is too much for my little heart to handle. It wasn't supposed to just be like a steamroll like this. Somebody else has to start up. Come on, start taking things over. They've declared war on the European Union. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Europe. Push them back. Let's go. They're taking Canada. Makes sense. Wow, they're actually... Can't, the European Union's kind of whooping butt right now. I mean, they're not... They don't own three planets, but, you know, they might actually take them over. No way! Oh, the, there's a fire breaking out over here? Oh my glove. Okay, so the Earth is imploding. Uh, looks like the European Union is actually the new top dog, or the United States has been kicked off into Mexico, even though the United States lives on with their uh, settlements. Other people need to start putting up settlements. The colonists can actually walk through the other um, empires and go colonize. Like, they can. There's nothing stopping them. So, the United States still lives on, though, on Earth for now. The European Union's going to fight, looks like, Indonesia? Maybe ASEAN? I don't even know what that is. Oh my glove. United States has declared war on Indonesia. Why would you do that? <laughs> They're gonna come back onto Earth from the moon to attack Indonesia. <laughs> Look at their, their army over here on space. They're just orbiting. They're orbiting Indonesia. <laughs> the European Union has pretty much taken all of Europe, all of North America, and a lot of Asia. South America and Africa be vibing though. As the United States puts up a new settlement on Venus. Gosh dang, dude. Somebody else has to colonize. Otherwise, this is going to be a boring video. Okay, North Africa was just conquered by the European Union. They're shooting at Indonesia. Oh, balls. Indonesia, run. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, that's the United States. You, the United States took over Indonesia. I'm so lost right now. So many crazy things are happening. Okay, now Europe is burning down. What the frig, bro? What's burning down Europe? What? What's in here killing them? What the boss is this? The, there's an evil mage. <laughs> what? He's just over here sniping them. Get him, people. This guy might just have the strength just to kill all of humanity. He just destroyed all of Canada and a lot of Siberia. <laughs> Actually, oh, where'd he go? Okay, no, he's over here shooting boats now. What a savage, dude. Oh, okay, they sent the army in. Oh, snap, they might actually get him. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's still alive. I want to see how many kills he has. Pause. He has 57 kills. He's only nine years old. Imagine killing 57 people by the time you're nine. Oh, he died. That's a rip. I would say he set back the European Union a lot, but he really didn't. Or maybe he did, but the European Union is still just kind of... They're vibing. Venus pretty much is completely taken over by the United States. I can't believe the United States is the one actually out there colonizing. And all of Africa has been taken over by Europe. Uh, sounds familiar. Oh, 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 China's fighting back. Oh, snap! China! China out of nowhere just taking out the Europeans! This is so dramatic. Okay, China just took over Indonesia. Dude, China out here just randomly slaughtering. What the crap, bro? United States is still in Mexico. <laughs> just like real life and real life history, the South America just, their borders never change. They'll always just be this. The European Union is no longer even in Europe. Oh, actually, they're kind of in Spain a little bit. In Portugal, if you want to get technical. Look at the United States armies just running around in space. You know, you guys don't even got a spaceship. How are you breathing right now? They're over here attacking Australia. Poor Australia. I wonder if Europe will fight back on China. Oh, never mind. They just split the european union in half uh the rip to the european union apparently china is taking over all of earth honestly uh could have saw it coming uh united states however is still a thing just on every other planet oh they're even colonizing the asteroids now congratulations to the united states i guess for the being the only ones taking advantage of the rest of the solar system and it looks like jupiter has quickly become a prosperous green and blue and red planet <laughs> that's weird looking i don't know how that happened all these planets have trees and stuff on them now <laughs> There goes the European Union. Oh, oh, snap. United States is fighting back. So United States owns Indonesia, Australia. Now even the original United States, once again, Canada, Mexico. The United States is too powerful. I did not expect this. Like, there's no bias in this game. They, like, they legit were just, they just did that by chance, I think. The chance that the United States jumped on it, that's kind of, it's just kind of ironic. <laughs> they're, ta they're taking out China. They just took the China homeland. China's reduced now to Europe and Africa. That's so weird to say. In South South America is still vibing. Oh, China owns Mexico now. <laughs> what? This makes no sense. The United States got military all running in from all sorts of parts of the galaxy. Venus is a powerhouse for sure. Look at all this food production. How do you, how do they even do this on Venus? You know how hot it would be here? Look at all the freaking fire plants. Really right now, Earth is up to the United States and China, which is really funny how that played out because I mean, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> China's kind of taking it back. The United States even has 525 people compared to their 290. They're struggling. I guess it's because it's on technically China's home field now. I wonder how different this would have played out if South Asia didn't just get straight up wrecked by an asteroid right off the bat. Oh, balls, there's a wormhole. 
Oh! Territories are just being flip-flopped between the United States and China. Um, and the rest of the solar system is just being ignored. They have ways to get there. Uh, in fact, this... No, this is a little military. Guys, just send a few people up into to, to Jupiter, and that's a lot of land. Much more land than even Earth. This is insane how much fighting is going on on Earth right now. E each one of these nations, regions, countries, whatever you want to call them, they just... It's, it's kind of crazy. They don't stay with one country for longer than a year. It's really weird to say China's everywhere. It owns everything on the Earth other than China. <laughs> like, what? This makes no sense either why South America has just been spared from this brutal war. They are connected by land. The soldiers could walk over and take it. They just, they just won't. <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, the United States got Mercury up now, and they're even sending over soldiers from Mercury all the way over to Earth to get onto this boat, to then boat over to the mainland, to then fight the war against China. This is, this is phenomenal. You, the United States just made peace with China? Bro, whoa. Whoa, that don't, whoa, that don't, whoa, that don't even make sense, bro. China and United States made peace with each other, while China has all of North America, and the United States has the rest of the world. That's so backwards to me. That doesn't make it, what? Oh, oh, the United States is finally, what is this, Neptune or, or Uranus? It's one of them, they're finally colonizing it. Which is probably one of the worst ones to colonize. It's literally just cold winter. It's just cold winter. Why would you even come here? Well, I'm gonna make them all hate each other. Because, uh, uh, I mean, might as well. I want to see South America fight. <laughs> oh, never. I, I guess China's just gonna roll in here. Unless they're distracted by the United States. Oh, Africa just got wiped out, dude. Gosh dang, bro. Oh, oh, and China's left in Mexico. Uh, that's it. Uh, China's in Mexico and that's it. That's rough. The Caribbean, Brazil was just taken over by the United States. If they take over Mexico, then China's gone, which is their main competitor. There they go. China has been destroyed. La Plata Union against the entire solar system being the United States. A thousand population against 15. Who's gonna win? Place your bets now. They're moving the army in. And rest in pieces, bro. Gosh dang. So it's kind of ironic that the United States um, ended up winning. That was not staged. That was not planned. Nor was it biased. But it happened. And they're even conquering in the sun now so i mean might as well be happy for him i guess might as well end this video in the only accurate way that humans will ever come to a one world government if we all die perfect okay see you guys next time